Hello, welcome back to the Air of Authority. My name is Andrea, and in today's video, we will be answering a subscriber question. And I think you all will really appreciate it because this might happen to you at some point this summer, which is you hear a humming coming from your air conditioner, but nothing is coming on. So now I'm gonna ask my dad, Raymond, what he thinks this could possibly be and how a homeowner can go about fixing it. This question says, I can hear a humming on the air conditioner coming from the neighbor when mm -hmm. I'm inside. So I think that she's talking about her neighbor's air conditioner. Yeah, um, that's what it sounds like And me. she says, strange, her fan isn't on. Why is this? So do you know why an air conditioner might be humming or buzzing, but the fan yeah. is not on? Well, uh, I can think of two, and one of them you'll be the hero to your next door neighbor. And the other one, you'll be the bearer of really bad news. So, so let's go with the hero one first. Uh, if if I had a neighbor and I, their air conditioner is sitting there, and all I hear is a humming or buzzing noise, but nothing's running, right? That's what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. I would let them know that what I'm hearing. You know, go knock on the neighbor's door and ask them to check their breaker for the unit outside, because typically what not typically, but one of the two things that could be humming, that could just be the controls. When it's totally quiet, you can hear a hum of the, the contact or the switch that turns on the air conditioner. Can Sometimes can have a, a vibration to it and kind of make a humming sound. With no other fan being on, everything quiet is because the breaker is off on the inside of their house or the disconnect is pulled, but somehow they don't they don't have power to the air conditioner outside. And that's an easy fix is just restoring power to the unit outside. So that's the one where you'll be the hero. You know, you you found, you know, uh, that they had a problem and it was a cheap fix. The other the other reason I could think they would have just a humming sound would be they've got a bad uh, condenser fan motor. Or, or something related to the condenser fan motors. And what they're hearing is the humming of the compressor or be it that fan uh, motor, but it's not starting, it's sitting still, it's not starting up. So th those could be more costly. Now it could be something electrical, but uh, generally it'd be something along that line. Could be, could be a capacitor failure or something like that, but typically it's gonna be related to the fan uh, outside. Mm -hmm. is not running when it should be. So a fan motor yeah. breaker problem. problem. Let me see if I can do this since we're on a fancy new platform here. Dad, this was this is our own video <laughs> with mm -hmm. our own technician. I remember I was following Jordan out on this call once and the uh, the customer said that it wasn't coming on. And I think that he even said that there was a hum mm -hmm. or something. So it reminded mm -hmm. me of this when he went out to check. You hear how loud it is? Yeah. See, he said, do you hear how loud it is? So the fan's mm -hmm. not turning. See that? Fan's not spinning at all. I'm trying to see if I could spin it loose. What we need to check here is uh, capacity. You obviously had power to the unit. Verify that it's okay. Or if we have a fan motor issue. Yeah, the fan wasn't spinning. It's either the fan motor or the capacitor is not, not to. Well, I, I think that's what I said. Oh, yeah. So you were mm -hmm. able to heat, but as far as air conditioning goes, it wasn't removing the heat that the air conditioner was absorbing. Okay. So it wasn't actually, it was moving refrigerant. Everything seemed to be going okay on that front. It just was trapping the heat back in here. So you were getting lukewarm air back to your air conditioner. Well, was this the first time you turned it on? Yeah. I'd be interested to know if that noise sounds like what the the lady's question was about. Mm -hmm. If it's What's similar. What's going on with it? Yeah. So I'm checking the capacitor to see if it's okay. So five microfarads out of five. So it is okay. Whoops. <laughs> five microfarads out of five. That is okay. Now we'll check the compressor side of it. 47. So this is a 45.5, which is okay. So the capacitor seems to be okay, Roger. It looks like, what it looks like instead though, is that the condenser fan motor needs to be looked at. So it's given it enough capacitance to get it going, but the motor itself bearings inside of it is kind of giving out. 
it's not spinning the way it needs so, to. When I got out here, it was completely stopped. What do you think, Dad? That sounded pretty similar. <laughs> I think mm -hmm. that that's pretty similar. It's one of the two. It's one of the two. Okay. All right. Anything else that we want to say to close this out? Well, I would just caution you that you know Jordan uh, knows what he's doing, and and as far as spinning the blade, you know, I would not recommend a homeowner doing that. You know, that it's. Right. Uh, he knows what he's doing. He can do it without anything being damaged. Uh, a homeowner doesn't yeah. have that skill. And so, yeah, would, well, and he had to check the capacitor anyway. That was just like a quick yeah. check right. to see if he could engage the fan, but he, yeah. he had the tools to actually check the capacitor, which is what you're going to want to do. So what would you recommend when they call a, uh, if it's not the breaker, they need to call a service company. Um, yes. And so just make know, sure that they check those two things. Right. And when you go to the breaker panel, you know, that's what I was saying. Sometimes that brings on a whole nother question. Well, gee, I open up the breaker panel. I don't do this very often. What you're looking for is one of the breakers. You know, typically you've got a left and a right hand bank of, of breakers. You're looking for one that's not quite in the same position as all the others. You know, you're looking for the odd one out. And there's typically a scale, you know, the breakers are numbered usually odd numbers on one side, even numbers on the other side, but they'll have a, uh, many times they'll have a, a guide there that'll say AC and it'll break our number 22 and 23, 22 and 24 or something like that, you know, but uh, sometimes that's a help, but uh, you're looking for that one breaker that's a little out of whack, you turn it right. off and then turn it back on again. Okay. Cool. Turn it off to reset it and then turn it back on again. All right, good. I think that that should help. So we really hope that this video was helpful for you. If it was, we hope that you subscribe to this channel because we answer these types of questions all the time. Actually, if you have a question about your heating and cooling equipment, please leave it in the comments below and we'll check it out, see if we can give you some help. In the meantime, here are some other videos you might find useful and we will see you next week.